it's a simple mechanic. Buy a bottle of Fairborn Springs, the donation goes into African projects. So now you might think a few pence is not going to make a difference, but it makes a difference to somebody's life. When we started on this journey, over a billion people in the world had no access to clean water. That number is now 663 million. So we're starting to see a decline in that number. But for people that are down here, they don't have a choice. They are literally walking for their own survival often. It's obvious as soon as you arrive, really, that water is a massive issue over here. Probably in Malawi more than anywhere else. It's one of the poorest countries in the world. You see the desperation, you see the fact that you know, they've been denied the basics of life. I mean, it goes without saying that water's an absolute fundamental. You can't drink, you can't wash your clothes, you can't grow crops. You know, the water that they're using, you wouldn't even paddle in, let alone drink. Yet they would pick that up and drink it because they don't have any other sources of water. You get cattle in the water, you get people washing in the water, the kids are bathing in the water, and they're also drinking the water at the same time. You hear of people getting taken by crocodiles, it's just unbelievable. Talking to the communities, um, hearing about the floods that they had, you've lost your house, to then go into a period of drought. Kind of thinking about how you would feel in that situation. No food source, all of your crops have, have gone, you've got no income to be able to come in, but yet you've got a family to provide for, you just can't even comprehend it really. We looked around uh, one of the villages and there was a little girl that had malaria, but they couldn't take her to the hospital because it was closed on a Sunday. That little girl could die in three days. You kind of go, that could be your child. We've seen some fantastic examples of water pumps that have been repaired through the programme. It takes half an hour, it's 50 quid, a few parts, and people are back with clean water. They've not had it for 18 months, it's that simple. We're not stopping putting boreholes in, we're going to put more in where they're needed, but below that, a lot of the work is about restoration and pump repair. You know, they have to pull the rods out of the ground, they get together, they all work together. They know how to do it because they've been trained through our programme. And it's that education piece that needs to happen, making sure that you create that sustainable future for them, for the next generation. To be able to go out there and repair those pumps and see you know, the impact that that has, the joy that they've got about having a clean, safe water source again is just amazing. I think one of the things that most impressed me was the work that's been done on the database. It's a live app, they log the state of the borehole, where it is, what they've done to the borehole. To be able to locate any pumps that weren't working, it just cuts out so much time. I think it just shows you the power of digital and the power of what that funding can do to change lives. I guess back home you hear about Africa being uh, starved of water and you just think oh, people can't drink but it's more complex than that. We spent a morning at school feeding the children with porridge. They started serving it earlier so the kids would actually come to school in the first place but without the water the porridge wasn't there so that the kids wouldn't come to school. This 10 year anniversary is really significant for us because at the co-op we've really supported some fantastic work and I've seen it with my own eyes now. We've got a responsibility to say that we can do a lot more to fund a lot more of these projects, keep changing lives and ensure that the co-op are at the forefront of it. This is about caring for people, genuinely. This is all about the co-op way of doing business. We pioneered 10 years ago. Nobody else has got an own label water that gives back to charity as we do. Uh, we're still the only ones out there and it makes you absolutely burst with pride to work for an organisation such as ours that is doing this sort of work. It's just about humanity at the end of the day. Everybody at the co-op should be incredibly proud of what they've achieved with Fairborn Springs over the last 10 years. To change over 1.5 million people's lives it is a staggering thing to do. 
and that is a legacy that exists and lives and breathes within, within every member of the co-op. Every one of those one and a half million people is a person. It's not very often that you can say as an organisation that you've given people a few extra years on their lives. This is incredibly important. I think of all the things I've done at the co-op, this is the most amazing thing. Thank <laughs> you.